Hello, hello, hello! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about ways that I tone my hair. So I have three products and with those three products, there is five techniques I use in order to tone my hair. So if you haven't seen my first video already, it is about the products I use to dye my hair. If you haven't seen that one, I will link that video down in the description box below. So in that video, I basically, as the title states, I talk about the products I use to dye my hair since I dye my hair myself. So I want to start off by saying with Asian hair, it is so, 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 so hard to maintain your hair and to keep it blonde. I know for myself, sometimes I'll go months without toning it just because some techniques just take way too long and, or I just don't want to find the time to fit it in. So some of the techniques that I'm going to talk to you about today may require more time and some of them may require less time. Anyways, if you want to learn how to get your hair more blonde and ashy and less orange and brassy, just keep watching. So the first product that I'm going to be talking to you about today is this one here. It is called Manic Panic in the color Ultraviolet. There's two ways that you can use this in order to tone your hair. The first one being a do-it-yourself purple shampoo. So this technique is really, really easy because you can control how much purple you want to add to the shampoo and you can add it to any shampoo. And me, for some reason, I hoard a lot of shampoo bottles and I just don't even use most of them. So this is a perfect way to get rid of those products. So right now I am using this Tresemme one. I just buy Tresemme because the bottles are big and it lasts a long time and I'm too lazy to always go to the store and pick up a new bottle. So what I do is I take the shampoo bottle and I will dump some of the product out into a separate bottle or container and then I will put a couple drops of this inside. There really isn't a precise amount as to how much shampoo you should put in versus how much manic panic you should put in so really for me i just eyeball everything because i'm just lazy so when mixing these two products you want to get it to a nice lavender color you don't want it to be too dark because if you put way too much manic panic in it it might cause your hair to turn purple instead of just toning it with the shampoo whenever i do wash my hair, what I do is I'll put on the shampoo and then I'll do other stuff like shave and whatever else I do. And after I'm done doing all of that, I will wash it off. That's about maybe four minutes or so that I leave it on my hair. So since this is essentially just a shampoo, the results might not be really noticeable right away. And it might show up more as you use the product over time. Next, using Manic Panic again, what you can do instead of using a shampoo is to mix the Manic Panic in with a hair conditioner and put it on towel dried hair as a hair mask. The conditioner I use is from Tresemme again. There isn't really a specific conditioner or any specific shampoo I use. I just use anything. So with this one, just like the shampoo, you put it in a separate container or bottle. When you mix it, whatever amount of conditioner you put, I would probably put half of the Manic Panic into it as well. So if you put two ounce conditioner, probably just put half ounce to one ounce Manic Panic. After that is all mixed up, just apply it to towel dried hair. Normally I leave it on for about 45 minutes or so and then wash it out. Since this technique requires you to mix it and then apply it evenly onto your hair and requires more time, I might not do this every couple of days, but do it maybe once every week or once every two weeks and then in between those i would just use the purple shampoo now moving on to the next technique i don't have the products on me right now because i used it all and i just never repurchased because i mostly used the last technique that i'm going to talk to you about but anyways so the second technique involves well a color charm liquid permanent hair color and the second product is a cream developer that you mix in with the Wella Color Charm. So the color that I use is T18 Lightish Ash, Lightish, I'll, I always get tongue-tied, the Lightest Ash Blonde or something like that. So what you want to do with that is get a plastic container, dump the whole bottle of the Wella Color Charm into the container, and then 
you dump twice as much developer in and then mix it. And after you mix it, you want to apply it onto towel dried hair. And I will often divide my hair into sections. So I will literally just clip the top this top part up here, pull these ones to the front and then saturate it and just do it section by section. After I'm done the sections this way, I'll pull all my hair back like this, make sure I get all the roots and underneath. So after you apply that to your hair, I like to put a plastic bag on top of my head to keep all the heat and then I wait about 45 minutes or so and then wash it out. The wait time does depend on how blonde your hair already is. If your hair is more yellow, it will take the color better and therefore you don't need to put it on as long. I know sometimes people put it in for less than 10 minutes or so, but then it will take other people 20 minutes or more. And now for the last product that I use, it is the Fenola No Yellow Shampoo. And this one works really, really good, especially when your hair is more yellow than orange. So what it does is it takes the yellow hair and the toner is really, really strong that it can turn your hair silver even if you leave it in for too long. Using this as a shampoo by itself is already good enough for me. So that's what I've been doing normally and I wash my hair every other day so I just use this. The most recent time I washed it, I didn't use it. I just used a normal one just to give my hair a little bit of a break. My hair though, some parts of it are yellow, some parts of it are a bit more orange so it will take the yellow parts and it will make it into a really nice ashy, sometimes whitish blonde color. So if your hair has more orange, it might not take this in very well. But if your hair is like a yellowy blonde, it will work so amazing. So like I mentioned before with Manic Panic, you can use the two techniques using a DIY shampoo or a hair mask. So it's the same with this. You can use this product alone when you're showering and you keep it on for a couple minutes. Or you can mix a portion of it in with a conditioner and put it on like a hair mask. Again, with the hair mask, you might not do it as frequently as if you were to just use a purple shampoo. So I have used most of the techniques that I talked to you about today, minus the last one, which is mixing the Fenola shampoo in with a conditioner. And I found that the one that works best with my hair is the Fenola shampoo. But depending on your hair, the other techniques might work better for you. And I know they are much cheaper as well. So that concludes the three products that I had for you today and the techniques you can use with each of those products. I hope that I explained them well. If you have any questions at all about anything, just put it in the comments down below and I'll try my very, very best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!